let's talk about hot ground and low conductor targets, especially those valuable low conductor targets. This is Aaron from Tarsachi Forms. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a demonstration using that highly mineralized uh, hot brick down there that I got from uh, my friend Keith Southern. Since my soil is uh, low mineralized, it's only like one bar soil, all the homes around here uh, naturally have low mineralized bricks. So Keith was kind enough to send me that to uh, do this little demonstration. And uh, I'd like to make note that Keith already kind of did this uh, many months ago, way back in the summer. So if you haven't seen it, check out his uh, YouTube, uh, 1964 Relics, okay? That's his uh, YouTube handle. So anyway, what we're gonna do here is I want you to note that my Tarsachi is ground balanced at 545. Okay, generally that's the ground balance here in my basement. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, ground balance over that hot brick just to show you uh, what we're uh, dealing with in terms of uh, mineralization. So give me a second here. All right, so now, as you can see, we're at 788, all right? So that is a real hot brick. I mean, that, there's a lot of mineralization there. So uh, before I um, also want to note that um, if you see, yeah, the Tarsachi's reading that just like it was, you know, like it was uh, iron, okay? All negative numbers going into iron wraparound. So also, let me, um, let me take out my trusty old Safari. And this is not to uh, bag on the Safari at all because this is actually a great machine. I like this better than um, any other uh, FBS machine I've had and I've had them all. And it's an extremely powerful machine. I like it even better than the, the Equinox, sorry. But anyway, so um, I've got it in, um, in coin mode. And if you notice, it doesn't even read the, um, the, the brick. So I'll run it over these targets that we're gonna be using. So you can see it is working. I'll put it in all metal though, it'll pick it up then though. Okay. Okay, so um, it reads the same as the, basically the same as the Tarsachi, okay? So we'll set that aside. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start off with this $5 gold coin. And um, we're gonna put that right under the brick, okay? And uh, if you want, get a good look at my settings. It's not rocket science, okay? You can uh, try this for yourself. And uh, if you'll notice, the Sarsachi's having no problem reading that gold coin. However, I'd like to note, and also be fair, that that is a big conductive target that that $5 gold coin, all right? So let me try something smaller. Hold on, please. Okay, so what we have here, uh, you guys, UK guys may be uh, interested in, uh, in seeing. Not that a gold coin isn't interesting, but uh, this is a, uh, a hammered, uh, I believe, a uh, copper, no, no, uh, brass, I would say brass. And I'm sorry, but I don't know very much about hammer coins. I think they're fascinating, but I would say this is from France based on the Florida Lee uh, um, uh, design there. Okay, so uh, put it back in its protective envelope. And um, before I uh, do the brick test, I wanna make sure that you see the settings or rather you see the uh the vdi that we're getting on this with the tarsachi okay so it's hitting at 
at basically at 10, okay? It's a strong signal. It's a, now in terms of size, yeah. Um, the diameter of this is probably a little bit bigger than the, than the $5 gold piece, but it certainly does not have the mass, okay? It's not nearly as thick or heavy. So we put that on top of the old hammered France coin. He has no trouble hitting it. Okay. Let's try something a little smaller. Okay, here's on. another one. I'm not going to take this one out. Um, I think this one is from Italy. Uh, apparently, uh, someone had uh, was wearing it on a string, and it still got lost. But this one definitely is copper. Really, really pretty little coin. And um, it's uh, it's a little bit smaller. Well, yeah, it, it's it's smaller in diameter than the French coin. Okay. Let's see how this works with the brick. Oh, hold on. Okay, so this one is reading 16, and the one from the French hammered was uh, 10, okay? Just to be clear, so we're going to put that on top of it, okay? Okay, so no problem hitting that either. It still is a good size conductive uh, target, though. So, I promise it's going to get more interesting. Hold on.